In this video, we're going to show you how you can use the client viewing software remotely using the P2P serial. First, we're going to right click and go to main menu. Then we're going to go down to the bottom under management and network. In the left hand side, we can see that there is a P2P tab. We're going to click P2P. This brings us to our P2P page. And here we can see where you have the P2P method enabled. And then at the bottom right hand side, there is the device serial number. That's the serial number that we'll need to use when we enter our recorder information into the software. You can also enable the P2P remote connection method or get your serial number from the web interface of your DVR. Here you can see we're logged into our NVR at the IP address that is set on it. Here's the admin user. We're going to log in using the password that's set on our admin user. After we're logged in, we're going to go to a management at the top left. We're going to go to Network. At the bottom, we see the P2P tab. We're going to click on the P2P tab. This is going to take us to the P2P page. Here we can see that the P2P is already enabled, and we have a status online. If you do not, you first want to get, check the Enable status, and then scroll down and click the OK button at the bottom. And then you will want to write down or copy the serial number listed here. This is your P2P serial number. Now that we have the serial number to access our DVR or NVR, we can finally add it to the software. So here we have the software pulled up. We're going to go ahead and open the devices under the configuration portion of the main menu. And now to get back to the main menu, you just hit the plus icon and that would allow you to do whatever else you'd like after you've logged into your NVR or DVR. We're going to click back on the devices tab. So first we're going to click add. It's going to pull up a manual add menu here. In order to add our DVR using the P2P serial number, we have to change the method to add. We're going to change this from IP slash domain to SN. That stands for serial number. And that's the serial number that we got earlier in this video. So we're going to go ahead and name this home because that's our home recorder. We're going to go ahead and type in our serial number that we've got from our NVR. Let's type that in real quick. And then we're going to type in our username and password. We're going to go ahead and click the Add button. It's going to bring the information in here. And after a short couple of seconds, we got an online status. If you do not receive an online status, you will want to double check and make sure that your recorder has an internet connection, meaning it has an ethernet cable running to it from your internet router, and that you've enabled the P2P remote connection method that's covered at the top of this guide or in our dummies guide for remote connection. Thank you for watching.